Vodafone presents the pre-match. The date is 27th of January, 2019. I want to welcome all of you, men and women, boys and girls, little children, dogs and cats, all of you, welcome. And welcome back to what will surely be a heartbreaking affair. We've got two best of threes coming your way, and it's going to be nasty, dirty, and everything you can think of in between here in Katowice. My name is Trey Stunasaradis, and I'll be taking over the desk here alongside of Natu and Sponge, my analytical crew to die for, some say, or not say, but someone probably said it somewhere, I guess. Well, should you die for? Uh, That's well, the question. Some teams have died for this, this spot. So what we're looking at now is sending teams onto the major, chat. One of them definitely might right now if they lose this game, right? Let's look at this matchup we have right now. It's North taking on the likes of Envious. The fact of the matter is North today were on paper the best team coming into this tournament. They should have gone through this as easily as humanly possible. Instead, they were dispatched of in crazy fashion by Vici. And the same thing for Envy. In their matchup, I wouldn't say they were the favorite, but at least they had a shot, right? At least we thought it would be a competitive game because Envy is a team that hasn't been together for very long. They've got limited practice. And I think they've exceeded expectations throughout. So... Yeah, I guess uh, interesting way to start the day. Find ourselves in this best of three. Yeah, I think for North, this uh, whole play in tournament is basically just a, a matter of mental fortitude. I feel like they mucked it up in the veto for the first game, sure. first of all. I think they, they were overthinking it, and they ended up on a map like Inferno. Um, obviously, now the, the benefit for them is the fact that we are hitting those best of threes. And I don't see a world where they don't have the upper hand in terms of veto, in terms of just being more comfortable in this type of matchups. Yeah, and the, the weird part is this is how it's unfolded. No one could have probably placed North in this sort of backs against the wall scenario. And the scenario that I'm painting for you is this, the brackets. We have them right up in front of you. Now, they might look a little funny to you <laughs> because they these do. teams are all vying for that last two spots. We've actually just given one away to win strike. And now we're going to be seeing who out of the remaining teams can power forward. North and Envy will square us off in the beginning in a best of three, and the winner will go on to play Vici. Now the winner of that does in fact qualify for the Supreme Major taking place here in Katowice, Poland. This is where Natsu's point comes into play. North have a deeper map pool than all of the teams in this tournament, right? The fact right. of the matter is in the best of ones, if you want to make any arguments for them losing that, that's a perfect storm. This is their third shot. Realistically, at this point, there should be no excuses. These guys should have gone through an right. easy fashion. But now that we've in the best of three stage of this, they should be able to get through just by vetoing smart, right? Just right. playing to their other team's weaknesses because that's where the holes are. They've played all seven maps since the iteration of this team's come together. And Chad, I'm going to give you the vetoes because we need to get right into the nitty gritty here. We need to start getting down and dirty like I've asked you to do in Twitch chat in the, in the meantime. But for what it's worth, all of the, the higher echelon of competition should have been weeded out right now, and North should be sitting pretty. And when I say should, I mean all intents is that nothing has gone according to plan. Uh, I, I think the interesting part here is that North goes for the overpass ban. That would have been, Nuke. Yeah. I think that I the mean, confidence of Envy would have been shot after cash. the win strike. Or, well, no, I don't think that uh, Envy are going to pick Cash, right? They can ban it in the second phase. I think that it's glad that they floated it. I'm surprised that Envy didn't actually pick us too. It's the only map that they've actually looked like they have an idea on what they're doing in the mid rounds in this tournament, in, the, in their minor. Yeah, I mean, Train, they, yes, they had a lot of ideas of how to play it and they had set pieces, but they basically couldn't get out of team main <laughs> in their execute. So that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a oof. It's a worrisome well, sign. Going on a train and a map like, especially North, I mean, they, they've seemed competitive. Yes, their win percentages are, what, like 20 something in, in the last couple of months, but in the big picture, they've had a lot of really, really close games. We saw that in the European minor, they played a close game against Enns. They could have easily had that one as yeah. well. They should have even. They were up 14 12, right? So. Uh, that's an interesting one. I think North have got this 2 0. I think those maps are fantastic for both teams. Right uh, for, away. For, for North, yeah. Well, we don't have any time to waste. In fact, I'm being told that the teams are ready to play right this second, and we will let them do just that. This best of three starts now, and we brought in a fresh face commentary crew to die for as well, straight from the northern lands of Canada, one of which a uh, very unique couple. You might know them as Scrawny and Launders. They're ready to take us into train. The first map of this series, let's get it on, boys. Yeah, let's. Let's rock and roll. Lauders, this is it. This is our last best of three of this entire minor circuit. It's been an absolute blast, and I'm stoked to see whether or not Envy can take something off of North. North should have not been here. They should be in the major already, you'd think. Um, but clearly, the other teams have something to say about it. And we saw Envy kind of trudge along throughout their minor, get better and better, seeming as though Overpass was their key until this morning's matchup. And now this is what we've got, folks. It was a best of one, um, and North are going to be severely favored in this. The only thing that's counting against them is the pressure. I think we saw a really weak North on Inferno, and uh, it was Vichy who played extraordinarily well. So there's a lot of credit to be handed that way. But I think if North get a second shot at it, it'll be a lot easier for them. This is a match that you have to expect. North will definitely take, probably favored on 
uh, well, they're probably favored on each of these maps individually. I can honestly believe they'll, they'll probably take it 2-0 unless Envy shows some extraordinary stuff. Though Envy did have a pretty decent train on the CT side. We're starting off right into the first half on T side, and we'll get to see if they fix some of the stuff that they did wrong versus INTZ when it came to executing. Initial kill comes out for North. Ladder control is theirs. Envy push up through upper B or upper B and uh, look to exec. I think the bomb might lag behind, run down the ramp, but the rotates are in for North. They're prepared for this. Yeah, they're just gonna sit back, loading outside of Z, okay, as well. Keeping eyes down range, but JDM has actually managed to clean up the player closest, so that's the bomb plant. Undeniable at this point. Counter terrorists will move forward relatively quickly. Valda is a killer in the pistols, but it's drone to get that first frag here in the after plant now as well. With Kerrigan coming off of ramp, there's a chance, but he has no utility and he's sectioned off to the top. Doubles back down ramp. Kierby's watching for it. Defuse already coming through, and he might not believe that AZ stuck it, but he has. Oh, boy! And he's tapping towards the second, but he can't best Kierby, who's okay. going to go ahead and jump on bomb. No kit. He was looking for it, but I think he's still totally fine. Obviously, our sounds are a little bit lighter. Wow, that was close. Okay, they uh -huh. grab it. Yeah, with enough time. Kierby, I assume maybe that the kit was down then uh, jumped down to grab it but he was yeah he was just fine north win the round good attempt from kerrigan could have very easily just let that whole 10 second defuse go through not anticipating that it was a fake in that situation but um but yeah it was it was a 1v2 at the end of the day north had a lot of control that round and uh and showed us why they they probably feel comfortable here on train so bad start for envy it was two pistols that won both first maps uh when it came to vici and north it, it was lopsided score lines brought to you by those pistols. Envy the same versus Windstrike. And uh, now North are out to the anti-ego there. They've used Gade to take T-Con control. AZ is keeping an eye on ladder and Gade gets another kill. Envy have not forced up into this round even though they did get the plant. So they're going to hang back for a second. Look to push out now. Cutler's got an opponent just above him. Okay, doesn't seem to be totally aware that someone has come this close into Teak on us. We can see by his crosshair. There's potential for him to get caught off guard. Cutler doesn't know that he can peek this. Ooh. Still doesn't seem to be fully aware of exactly Gade's position. Finally takes him down. Yeah. Gets traded out and leaves just JDM alone with the P250. Overall, a round where they just wanted to try to build up uh, or try to take down as many of the North players as possible. North did have three SMGs and they'll carry those over into this round. I don't know if they upgrade any of them. Gade will certainly get a better gun, but uh, maybe a harder sell for Cadian and AZ, who only have about 3K on top of this. So it's somewhat of a bonus round, no off to lose, no off to worry about trying to save. This is the kind of round where for North, it's, it's great to try to employ some kind of aggressive option. Just really demean the other team and put those SMGs to good use, get in their faces. Well, we'll go down to the depths of the ladder at least. No upper B aggression at all. It's just Valda solo hold on that side of the map. And North's initial front run towards T-Con and ladder has still held them in those positions. In fact, we've doubled up on the B-bomb site for the moment. Gates come over. Envy could not take ladder room control when they played against Ents, INTZ, and that was a big problem for them. They wanted to sometimes execute outside, run back, through ladder and then couldn't do that. JDM Doe finds his opening kill on Kirby, who tries to take the duel with an M4. No nades to assist him on the come up, so I'm not surprised he just stood there. And then Drone wins the ladder duel. It's Kadian, however, still just floating around T-Con that's putting a wrench in the works of Envy. Doubling that bomb back towards Ivy. Gate actually just exits through T-Con to double back up into the upper halls. I mean, he missed the bomb carrier in T-Spawn by inches. Ooh, that's dangerous, but so is this A site. Gade sits within it. All the toying with the idea of going for this peak behind them, but they just want to move that bomb forward with 30 seconds. Gade gets confirmation, wins his duel, dropping bombs, slowing it all down. Valda strikes Kerrigan, who's caught off by T-Con, and it's the IV clear for North that nets them a third. So nice from Valda to take his time there, knowing that there could be a presence still at Ivy, but waiting for a kill to come outside. 
And V should have been aware that there was somebody around the bomb train just because they had ladder control and most of the other spots on the site have been threatened. But they lose their duel straight up. And V win ladder control, which helps them out a little bit, but Kadian trades from long distance with the MP9. Then everything starts to fall into place for Norris. So not a bad attempt from Envy, though. They had much better guns moving into the round and got that opening frag as well. Nifty hopping out of T-Con with the Deagle. There's two players back at IV. He's not going to know someone snuck out to Olaf, but can just be aware of it in case. Hop over the server. Easy versus pistols. Grenade? Actually, does nothing. Gade will, though. Headshot versus Nifty. That section's off T-Con attempts. Poor Drone's just left to come join his teammates. He has little health. Maybe set up the Deagle of Cutler. You know, that's the best case scenario I can see at this moment. Not much to work with. Not much health left over. Three players down here at IV, and they'll, they'll start to make their way up. They've got no utility to do anything with it, so... They're just gonna go right through the smoke. Kirby's gonna be happy to hold this angle. AK could swing at any moment. It looks like the peaks are about to come out as soon as Kirby makes that noise and gets that kill, he'll just fall back. Take a more passive position, allow his teammates to help him on these fights. Yeah, there you have it. Baldi gets the last one, Drone just trying to trickle in. So North 4-0, we saw them make mincemeat of the anti-ecos on the second and fourth rounds now. A little bit of a shake up towards that B point with Kerrigan's attempt at a clutch, but other than that, North looking good. Strong start on the CT side of train. Lots of money to work with. I think we have the op option. JDM picks it up. Everybody will get nades behind it. First tack caused, called by Envy to talk about things. They didn't have a chance in that round to get more kills, so they probably were focused on actually doing damage. But we're into round five, and um, it's it's been a slippery slope for Envy when they lose their first few rounds. We saw that today earlier. Can't let that happen again. Although it is a best of three, again, all the way up until the last map, North will be at an advantage. So what's the play? We don't have a forward ladder spawn, except for JDM. Could potentially barrel down there with the op if he wants to, but he's also got the T-Con play, and uh, it looks like he'll just uh, turn his attention over to Ivy, while a couple of his teammates walk toward, or run towards inner. They're going to try to make sure they don't push. Smoke down immediately to, to slow things down. All that gets caught off. They have somebody else up where they need to clear him. Ooh, JDM's got someone just beneath. Kirby will take his head. Kadian to support with an additional smoke grenade. So they've been completely nullified at Ivy. Losing their opper, which does bring us back into the four versus four. Good for North in the sense that they trade out Valda. Very aggressive of him to go up into the box halls. Could have net him two frags. But it was Kerrigan to shut him down. AZ pacing back and forth between the bomb site and that lower ramp peak. Gade is going to be here sitting around the bomb train, potentially low watching the lower ramp. I'm not exactly sure who's responsible for what. 2-2 two, two at the moment. Ladder is wide open, but Envy don't know it. 45 seconds left. They have many options. And it's an interesting stack outside if it is anything through it towards T-Con. North certainly get a kill. They can hold from here as well. But this might be the weaker... These might be the weaker positions if Envy hit lower. Especially if they get the entries. The rotates will take a long time. One rotate starting to get somewhat closer. Deep frag grenade just blasts Kerrigan down to 35 health. It's going to be the A hit. Team Envy just trying to redirect as fast as they can nearly catching Kadian, but Kierby will support. He sections off those last two ladder players. Envy with a cohort on the bomb site, but Kadian's gonna try to swing out here and pick them up. First shot, second, all too easy. Just Cutler, and they know, or so they should, that there's probably this late play in ladder. He's got the Molotov. They don't have a smoke, but there's no more players up. That is North, most notably Kierby, to lock it all down. It's a full house between him and Kadian. Ladder looks good for Envy. They use it to rotate out. The, the, the presence inside pulled one player out of their position by Olaf and co almost compromised the setup. It gave Envy a bunch of information when they were able to tag him up, but they couldn't finish the frags and then ultimately got opt here by Kadian in the post plant. This is when they had their best chance to win. But again, they didn't expect there to be an op hell or even two people on that side of the site. 
And so it was a decent attempt, but ultimately North winning the round is the most important thing. Envy get another buy off. They're gonna use another tack to talk about what they're gonna do differently, potentially. If they can get ladder again, they once again have options. We've seen them do full execs over a T-Con. Three, four smoke execs inside as well. But they haven't employed those just yet. They're, they're, they're looking for default openings and then moving into contact plays or cheap fakes. I guess trying to heighten the mid-round calling just because they weren't able to get anything going off their full execs earlier in the minor. If I'm north in this situation, I run the exact same setup or something similar. Kiri's gonna put down the Molotov at, oh, at Ivy, but not do anything else. Kadian goes for that kill, and uh, sometimes Oppers will sit in the fire. He gets the better of Kerrigan. It's already 5v4 for North. It's two rounds in a row now. We've had aggressive upper halls from North. First time, Valdis shut down off ramp. This time, Opper and Kadian gets the pick. Look at the way North are flying forward from Ivy. They have no need to hold on to it, anticipating a standard hit from Ladder and Tcon. They'd be right in assuming so now. But we'll watch Envy burn some time off the clock and reposition. It's kind of the perfect turret for this position. It's just so good mechanically, so fast. They drop into his crosshairs. Uh, I, I assume he'll just go and get multi kills. They 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 were able to totem pull drop and the. Uh, on that previous round, take him out. I think Drone went one for one with his teammate. Flash down the lower ramp as Valda oh. goes for the peak. They get the bomb and section it off with the Molotov uh, with the time ticking down. The rotates can come out. Don't know if there's any more utility to support this lower ramp, but if a smoke can go down in front of it, you'd expect they can't even get it back. No, nope. Valda's not going to let them have it. Try as they might. JDM's going to jump down. Duel versus Z, Cutler. Not going to cut it. You have got to get that kill ultimately. There's just no easy way to get the bomb back at this point. It's five alive for North. They flanked ladder knowing that the T's are gonna be trying their hardest just to get the bomb back and are gonna need multiple members of their team. They can't really sit around, wait for flanks, lurk at Ivy or T-Con and yeah, North. Just went around confidently, looks solid. Crazy again that Vici gave them such a run for their money, but uh, there, I mean, Molotov had it fully plumed. Kadian got away without taking a almost any damage. You can't give up easy kills like that, obviously. Now we know Oppers will go for those picks because they get success doing it. But if they had waited like two more seconds to peek, it would have just been Kadian taking some damage and then falling off. And be kind of going through the motions and it's not paying off. Might be a full on exec outside. Five smokes as we can see, but it is a half buy here in round seven for Envy. Big set piece. Smoke's all over. AZ gets the headshot on ladder. That cuts everything off. Kadian's grenade's good for one. And the automatic gunfire, the bullet storm, denies Envy anything. Not even footing outside of T-Con. Yeah, no bomb plant, most importantly. Um, ultimately, Envy knew they were just gonna save and then buy again. Almost everybody from North, everybody from North actually is over 10K. Kirby on the cusp of 16,000. Everybody's fragging at the moment. Kirby's playing Ivy, and that has been the that has been something that Envy have looked to take many, many times now. But haven't been very successful. There was one round they almost lurked out. I can see why they have an affinity for it. But, uh, oh, this lower ramp hold is nice. They had vaulted support. There was not even a double peek there as the op was meant to just get a trade and leave. Nifty caught on the lurk outside. And this is just where it gets more and more hairy. You're down 5v3, minute 22, no trades in sight. Everybody just working on their own at the moment. Drone seems to find footing down ramp. Kerrigan exits ladder. Will walk forward to Kierby. Gates behind the green train if needed. It's the high flash and the peak, good for a kill, but Drone gets caught off on this side and it's an utter shutdown at A. Once more, North moving forward with the vast majority of their members. Four up this time. And this CT side shows no sign of slowing down. Ultimately, your information has an expiry day when you default like that and you can't get those trades. If, if Envy can't immediately 
answer back, then North are going to get away clean, make that round so much harder to win. So now they're throwing caution to the wind, pushing out, making individual plays. Can only see that getting worse here for Envy as they, they still don't have a round in this game. They're buying up because uh, they've got max loss. It's going to be four AKs. I don't know if somebody was able to drop JDM in AWP, but that doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. You could go back to working Ivy again. JDM was traded that round where they were able to kill Valda, but then Kirby came out and got that kill at Ivy. There's still hope there, potentially. Off shot doesn't really need to hit the mark. Kerrigan just wanted to get to Olaf. That's all he wanted. Not too much to ask for, you'd think. But uh, North are giving out no freebies, except for Drone slipping past here. He's got himself some interesting positioning, but ah, Kierby is able to take him from the back. Cutler smashes through with a double, in fact. But Valda's here on that AUG, and he's so damn good with it. Can he clutch this? It'd be the first round for Nifty on the board, and yeah, he'll seal it off. Finds the headshot. Just a swarming push from Envy. Finally not shut down, even despite that op shot from Kadian and the grenade to follow suit. Again, it was a 4v5 environment for Envy, and that normally spelled disaster, but this time it spells a first round win. You'd think they'd lose for sure in the 4v5, but uh, they bring it back, they get that execute. This is the first time they've actually full exec out A on a buy round, so that's something to note. Envy gonna be feeling pretty good about that one, especially after losing Kerrigan so early on. Was Drone lucky in getting by the Sandwich player? Did he know the Sandwich player was there? Certainly, certainly actually didn't matter because our, our man at Ivy, Kirby, was able to take him down, but here on this round, they've made a lot of noise. Multiple pairs of footsteps heard from Ladder. Valda's gonna toss his utility and sit strong. Gets deleted, so does Gate. That's the most convincing hit we've seen yet from Envy. That was actually ridiculous. He was expecting for sure to be able to take a fight from the lower ramp. Coming out of upper and swinging on him was really smart. I don't know if they saw the trajectory of the incendiary, but that's definitely all the information they need to displace Baldus Crosshair, make that fight a little bit easier for the T's. And then Nifty took out his teammate back of the site. North can recycle the op. It's a lot to be gained if they go and hunt down these kills. They've got enough rebuys to work with, but they're just nowhere close to B. And so it might just be a waste. Any wild outliers at the moment, Launders, that you feel needs to be noted in terms of performance so far? We've really just had Kierby, I think, tearing it up. Gade behind him. I think what we're seeing is just a weird, like a really weak start for Envy. The defaults are not strong enough. They're not getting their entries anymore. They are just not individually as good as they've been at different periods. And you never know. It feels like you just don't know which Envy you're going to get. Um, and part of that is going to be growing pains because it's a new roster with an undeveloped map pool. So that's fair. You know, even if their maps change day to day, that's going to be expected. It's just unfortunate for them that they have to learn on the fly in the situation. But um, they've dug their own grave. You know, they made third place. They only got third place. And now they're in this play in north in the same position. But again, a lot more experience, better maps. And they've been here before. You gotta assume NB just gonna have, uh, they're, they're gonna have tapered expectations, you know, which is probably not gonna bode well for them when the going gets tough. Well, the tough has got going. They've got two rounds now in a row. Full buy back on the board for them. And of course, Flourishing economy for North, still good. $10,000 in the bank for three of these players after a full-fledged buy. JDM flies out from Tcon, misses his shot on back Ivy, and was double-scoped just moments ago. Could have been caught by North, just like Kierby finds a kill on Ivy. Three frags actually just fill the feed. Kierby's gonna drop to Kerrigan. First frag in terms of a response from Envy at all. Nifty scouring the train yard, trying to find some kind of opening, but he's lost that bomb. So if it's not a kill, it's at least possession he's fighting for. His teammate 
having fallen back off of Ivy, will rotate towards the T-Con instead. That is Kerrigan coming in with the supporting grenades. Costs him his head. Gade's taken that, but Nifty's now revealed himself and almost has a chance at dropping Valda. Was a 1v4, turned 1v3, and then nothing further for Envy. That's North back on the board. I like that they're going fast. And uh, again, that's been that's resulted in a lot of good T rounds from them. But JDM drops a big off shot when they go outside. And unfortunately, although it's only one kill, and although it was a very unlikely pick to begin with, since it was so well lined up, you'd think if he got that kill, Ivy would have been a lot easier to push. Kirby couldn't have stood there the whole round um, and got taken out one person who came out of the three. And we lose another round and are back to the drawing board. Bad buy here as we move into round 12. They at least got two rounds in a row, but now uh, Drone does a bit of damage. Kadian takes him out and we're back to a five on four. Second successful round for Kadian getting a 5v4 with that op peak in a full fledged buy. Tough call to say what they can do differently, do better. There's a lot of things that went wrong, but um, in terms of options, I can't blame them for trying to flesh out Ivy once again. The trades have been kind of 50-50, and as a T, you'll take that any day of the week. But it feels as though Kirby only grows stronger every round that passes. And they're just kind of giving him more and more practice. Three players playing somewhat forward positions outside. We've got one back six, but t is being watched over by AZ. Yeah, now he throws out that Molotov to black, block off the back guy. Gate trades. Cutler hasn't been able to find anything towards Ivy yet. There's very little presence here from North, in fact, with that deep ladder control, with one in between the colored trains. Well, they'll give them one opening. Still keeping eyes on it. Throwing the Molotov to block off the actual exit to site. They've done it for long enough now that Envy will just forfeit the round. That's a tenth for North. Two players saving on Envy. Receding into a save. They even have the opt to do it. Just not enough time to work outside in the 2v4. We know that they're capable and comfortable working in these situations, but it's just such a big site with so many angles. It's just yeah, overwhelming, I think, for them to think about uh, trying to skip some of them and uh, pick their fights. North win another round. Look very confident here on CT side. Another very one-sided affair. As we move into the end of the half, we're about to round out this half. North already in double digits. And it doesn't seem like they're going to stop. Wouldn't be surprised if Envy buy behind the two guns they saved, but at the same time, what can they do? They, they, it's, the, it's, the, it's the op that's probably so appealing to try to support. It's just that they've got... 2,000 to 2,900. Potentially Nifty could drop an AK. Yeah, he does do that, so he's gonna have basically nothing. No armor for him. Just the Deagle? They have enough smokes to go for an execute one more time, and their outside execute was successful. Was successful. They were able to pull it off. The, the Ivy split didn't work so well, but again, that rested kind of on JDM's pick that he dropped. It's hard to harp. It's hard to harp on him of all players. He's just been so good the whole tournament. Yep. Whole minor. Not really tournament. Is it? Kind of. It's a little semantics. Tournament. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's only fifty thousand dollars on the line. That's true too. The tournament. Not here to play in, obviously. You know, if you come in third, then you get no cash, folks. You're fighting for that spot. Actually, before I say that, let me double check. Yep. Just new challenger status. And I use the word just very lightly. Yeah, of course. It's going to mean more <laughs> than the world to them to be able to get to the major. So you know that Envy are holding on to their nades. They can't risk dying in this default. There's not a lot of ways for them to work map control. Ladder might be off limits unless they really want to run a big risk. And it seems they'll just uh, turn this into an exec down the lower ramp. Kirby scoped in and ready. This AUG could succeed incredibly well if there's no flash, but all three of them are going to be on display as the smoke grenade goes away. There you have it. JDM ready for the peak. Smoke upper as well. Could enable Kerrigan to help. Drone down for the count. Kadian deep grenades with Valda. There's the frags for them. Molly blocks off the run out from ramp. We've got another one as well. Ooh. 
Thought JDM hit that shot, but it was actually Kerrigan to help out. So just a good example of Envy trying to pinch this simultaneously, trying to work together here to get back at least the third round. Kerrigan going one better as Nifty was supposed to be on the bomb site to hold. No bomb needs. really far gone, but there's a flank. There's a flank in position, and AZ's got another. Kadian's going to run this round. And is there time? I don't think so. It's going to be cutting it close. Oh, he's got it! North with a defuse, and Envy can't even get three. Oh, ten situation. Push the communication to its upper limits, I'm sure, as AZ sitting there thinking, how long is this flank going to take? I've got to be able to make sure I'm focused on my crosser, but at the same time, I have to get to the bomb as well. And they just play it to perfection. Envy came so close, the entries were great. The way that they came down the ramp and JDM's awareness to figure out where Kirby would be sitting in. It was also good. They even ran low on aids. They needed to get those two kills. And North made it happen. So even in the unlikely situations, North are punching above their weight. Oh. Taking this first half by storm and posturing up to be well well in the lead for the for the second. Nifty just burns alive, sacrifices himself to the Deagle gods so that he can pop gate over on that ladder door. Takes one with him. Now those rifles start to fire off. The Deagle attempts to bite back, but it's the bigger guns that get the edge here, no surprise. It is North, 10 rounds superior to Envy at the moment. One left to go as well. We've seen a few options so far uh, here on T-side. They've tried a bunch of different things. What do you think they're gonna go with here on the last round? They've got a buy. They've got like kind of everything they want. I would think? I would really like to see them go back to that grenade execute on the, on the outer yard, uh, especially with this last round not having anyone from North on the offensive. Nobody just outside T-Con, for example. It was the Ops and the Augs sitting back. So smoke them all off and hit that execution. Or maybe B could try to punish what was an aggressive stance at times. Oh, it's actually two ops for the first time. So potential caveat here is Nifty works alone. That's had mixed results. Wow, these ops actually fly out so fast. JDM, he's already down here on ramp postured and Nifty was exiting T-Con in the first five seconds of the round. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Substantial damage. Gate and Valda just ripping them apart at the moment. Rotates so on point. And Nifty, well, he reveals himself at the A bomb site, but in what regard? It's a 1v5. And at that point. Whoa. All you, all, all, you can't even blame JDM. He gets down the lower ramp. That's the scariest spot for him to get to. Yep. He grabs it. Damn. And they will grab it too. North, a 13th round here on the CT side. After the break at half, we'll be back to see if they can put away map one.
an absolute dismantling here on Envy's map choice. They start off on the T side of train, get two rounds for their efforts, even though they did come back to back. That's really all we saw them. North just looking sharp after their initial loss versus Vici earlier today. Elimination looms near for Envy, but at least this is a BO3, and at least it is now the CT side of train. If they can win this pistol, then momentum may shift early. If not, it's a force war to the finish line. Drone tries to get that info, but decides not to give himself away. It wasn't pretty for Envy, but it was quick. Now, here on CT side, we definitely saw a lot more good things. They had almost a flawless CT side versus INTZ. A lot of good setups. Nifty played well on inner. And it's hard to tell at the moment, but it feels like North might be keen on taking it. Envy will sit passive, hold on to ladder control, crack spot, IV. Kerrigan was also very good at IV on CT side. Delaying for time quite often. Uh, North had that demo to watch as well. So we'll see how much they can use against them. Down to almost the 30 second mark and they're finally starting to aggregate towards B site. Curious to see if Ivy hits first, though. It's just meant to run through the A site. Kadian, that's one hell of a distance Glock shot. Right through the eyes of Drone. He won't be able to look straight for the next couple of rounds after that one. Kerrigan will cut off one of the A players, but now Envy have to rotate through Z, constantly wary of that other player from north back behind them. Or they just stampede forward on this retake so fast, Envy, that that man actually has to come in once his whole team is dead. That's a prime option, in fact. Kirby is the player with the Molotov, but somebody's already on the defuse. Envy say, screw you behind us. Let's go. Quick and easy. So it seems the retake B successful. It looked like a great strat. I mean, they got the two players out, Ivy, but one of them died and got picked off by a USP. The other one lingered behind and then tried to make the long con play. I think it was Kirby to come back through the A site, maybe yeah. into Z. And uh, just as you mentioned, Envy decided to speed it up as opposed to slow things down. Probably a wise choice. Put a lot of uh, put a lot of pressure on North to get the kills within the site, even though it was part of the strat to wait for this big flank that was meant to come out later. And if you go ahead and steal up a very confident pistol round. One of three rounds they've had in this game so far. Kadian goes ahead and, and tests the ladder. They're going to be waiting to buy for the next round. Here, Kirby, Kirby has carried over the Molotov, so I don't think it's part of any type of strategy, but if he plays upper, he could potentially molly the bomb. However, four smokes on the board for Envy, that shouldn't be an issue. We've seen Drone often on the CT side for Envy's train game, playing that bottom ladder, ready for the fast flank. Plays around with the timing, but this time it's north straight forward, simply feeding themselves to the AUG. Bomb dropped in the process. One man still up and above. That's Kierby with the Molotov. And if they get the plant in, maybe he makes this interesting. Actually, he's just going to go ahead and rip one off with the Deagle. No bomb plant at the end of the day. Envy three up. Do lose an AUG, however. Doesn't bother going for the plant. I think that is one situation where the kills might be worth more because they, well, they know they're getting a buy out of this round. And uh, if they forced enough rebuys out of Envy, they could just get one away from a reset. So... Interesting choice. Valda also probably concerned that he was just going to get flanked anyway and decided to swing out. Look for his individual duel. Full buy here. Envy uh, Kerrigan's the only one holding on to an SMG. North haven't seen to made a decision quite yet. They're trying to sneak out the Olaf. Kirby has a, a Molotov in front and behind him. So he's got to hightail it out. They won't know how much damage they did to him, but it might count for something later in the round. Kerrigan's got IV control, and he's using it with the MP9, which maybe not the best weapon. Also, what a flash. I mean, pixel perfect. Kerrigan just gets deleted. Never even saw his murderer. Off timing on the shoulder peak, and he could have easily avoided that and got a kill. Nice utility plays here, too, in ladder. Not that anybody's on the receiving end. Could have been drone tucked away in here, but nope. He's back on Ivy, leaving Envy with Cutler outside of the A site and, and 
when you consider him and JDM, you know, there's the rotations open through Z. Cutler does have a tendency to actually play up and above in the office, which can be good if there's a wall of smokes to see over. Two of said grenades here for North. If they want to make the execute happen, you see them both fly out. Flashbangs as well to try and clear close corners. Not wanting to half-ass the execution. Cutler does have cover slightly. Molotov's blanketing the train yard all over the place, and he drops the bomb. Now that's going to chew few seconds off of it, and he catches Kadian from Ebox. So now Bomb trudges along, gets past the green train in Valda, but Cutler is cutting them all down one after another, letting his team come in from this, and now that there's such a substantial advantage, you know they win this round. Envy holding it off on the A site. Tip of the hat to Cutler. Moving into the execute, there's a significant utility advantage there for North. They had they had the smokes, the flashes, and the Molotovs everywhere, and Cutler found a way to have clear line of sight on every single one of his fights. Did a great job of separating his engagements. And there's the first kill going down with the bomb. E-Box player goes down and he finds cover, and then he also has a teammate to trade that kill out if it doesn't go his way. Drone that man, got the second to last kill on the left side of bomb, and hell goes down easily. Not much time left on the clock there for North as they try to get outside. But they definitely had enough time to execute. They just got straight up outgunned. Double grenade here into T-Con to take out one of the saving players on Envy, or on North. Bunch of North players look to pressure Ivy. See if they do a better job of, of taking over Ivy maybe in another gun round. Seem very content to just let this one slide. They did do a good job of pulling Envy's numbers over towards Ivy, so let's let's see if they can get that bomb plant at the very least. Just nifty to get past. They will charge through his smoke into him, grabbing his AK and opening up the B site other than this sniper. It's not going to be an easy job, but they could also double back into A. You know, you've got Valdo with Kevlar and an AK-47 to play with. Drone will be happy to see this. They're testing him. Could be an easy kill, maybe a one-for-one one trade, but no. Nope. He's the aim god. He, he easily takes them both out. Envy move on to six round wins. They rebuy into this, only having to uh, uh, rebuy for Nifty, who's going to get the op, the double ops this time around. It has been a feature of Envy to do this almost every round they can on CT side. This time they started off in the power position, so they haven't had to double save to do it or anything like that. Uh, it's North's move at this moment as they look to close this game out. Such a well-played first half. But certainly they're not through the woods. Tack paws called. Katie and Hopping. And in terms of spawns, no one's got anything special. Valda could take it ladder if you want, would like to. I mean, that's always a temptation just because you can beat the CT there or get down as soon as he gets in, which can sometimes throw the CT off. But it's always nice to be able to pick him crossing. It just feels like that ladder kill is just invaluable at times. Kadian, here he is, pulling the op out, but uh, it's more of a passive position. It's actually Molotov off right away. Good call there from the utility of Envy. Look at all that free damage versus Gade and Kadian, not to mention Kirby with his back turned. A spinal tap. And a Molotov back forces Drone into the corner. Whoa, buddy. 20 health, and he's still playing around this. It's the way he sees it at this point. He can take a risk. He's already going to die to standard fight. Don't know at which point he flashes or gets flashed through, or if he just sits and waits. But look at that. Oh, my goodness. An opportunity almost missed. Gade could have capitalized that one bullet. Could have taken Drone out instead. It's now a 5v3, and he's saved himself. Gets back around the first corner, has support close. The Cadian's nabbed the bomb, he's gone. All the while, North are gonna challenge this B bomb site, assuming maybe numbers are stacked up at A, since they did just get that bomb delivered to them. And any moment Vald is alive, you cannot write off North. He's gonna get JDM on the train. Anticipates the peak from Z, that's Cutler. Yes, he's got this all figured out, but can't hit his shots. So Kadian will get the injection of cash at the least. 
and no flick up from him. This is looking like a flawless round for Envy, a very momentous round for Envy if they Absolutely. can keep everybody alive. And sure enough, Drone nails the flank. Considering how low he went at the beginning of the round based on the Molotov, Drone picks up some impact here. He was destined to die, for sure. And then, uh, yeah, went ahead and got two kills after the fact. Nicely done from him. And five alive is big. There's not that many rounds separating Envy from North at this moment. If it is going to be a sequence of buys and saves. North have got to figure this out. No sense really characterizing this as a game one until they at least prove they are good on both sides. And so far, they haven't done anything on the T side. Two ops on the board. It's going to be the main kind of... It's going to be the crux of the problem for North to figure out before we talk about anything else. Drone is also going to be a key player. If IV control is compromised too easily, he'll definitely be kicking himself. Need to push him into peeking. They're right above him, and he'll go ahead and steal a kill. The trade comes out through the floor. Really nicely done from Kirby. Good job. I mean, you got to give Drone a bit of props, just pushing into the more forward corner. Always a trap. Nate comes flying at you and you run away into it. Yeah. So at least he takes one with him. Always committed to the cause, like Cutler, flashed inwards. I wonder if he threw that himself. I think he must have. And there we go. Four to three. They, uh, they no longer need this much map control. Again, they have two ops. They can sit passively. CTs have calcified into these back lanes positions, both on the A and D site. North can hope for a mistake, but there's absolutely no reason for Envy to give them something. And if they want to try to fake, they might be too thinned out. Still some utility left over, JDM, almost a full set. Kerrigan goes ahead and throws that late smoke. It's going to help Valda feel comfortable getting up top, but it's going to be kind of unnerving to know that Kerrigan's expecting someone to come there. Kirby sinks his way outside, and we might have a duel. Very well could. Up close, Valda's going to pop him. Cutler, as we talked about, sometimes up here. Only has a flashbang to try and draw himself back. JDM's the one with all the grenades, and he's occupied on Old Bomb. Valda's anticipation. And Gadian's still able to plant. Nothing after the fact. That's nifty to charge down Bomb Planter. Get the defuse to five rounds the difference. North, they're finding their footing. But Envy seem pesky. Always alive and always right behind them. They're able to get the plants, and it's partially because Envy are choosing to play passive setups. So they're taking the approach that, yeah, you have more chances to win, but we have more chances to make sure we win the round, even though the bomb plants will help North kind of experiment and have more chances of getting a lucky round off. It's just not the round this time. And Envy survive with three alive. They make more money than they lose. Be another attempt here from North. As they move towards inside, could be a good grenade. Also, a great off pick. And again, Nifty was quite good inside. He has had off maps from this position, but he's got a lot of support on this round. Oh my goodness. AZ, though, just flying forward, drops him instantly. Headshot connects, drone gets the kill at the A site, and the rotators are already in position here for Envy. So again, it's, it's a similar story. North find the footing. They get their chances. But more often than not, it's Envy who still come out on top once the retake gets going. Follow up smoke and a flash from Katie and AZ's gonna just try to breeze right through this. Hits the player in the front, but Cutler's back over here towards Spools. Katie with one kill, can't manage another. He saw everybody, but just couldn't get kills. And because of that, it's Envy again. Double op saved, ninth round of the board, and slowly but surely, this lead is getting cut down. Team Ace, nice and early, Diffuse and Envy are almost at double digits with just these CT rounds. They basically did nothing in the first half and uh, are already very close to coming back into this. North are absolutely shaking at the moment. Never good to be used to losing, and they have had some really rough games so far. Envy, on the other hand, although slow starters, are showing us that they can put together really good CT halves on this map. And that's starting to come into play again. Re retaining the two ops is the most important thing. North have to make a decision if they even want to go up against that with their own ops. Around 4k for just about everybody. And we don't know if they're going to save. It seems like they are actually going to wait until they have enough for a full-on buy. 
Still dangerous territory to, uh, uh, it's honestly funny, I mean, they have the pistols. If they do a full exec, first of all, the smokes are going to be really good at countering ops. Secondly, pistols are also really going to be good at countering ops. Players run around with 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 no inhibitions when they have when they have pistols. You can expect the there to be a pretty ferocious execute and an op to get swarmed if it gets too aggressive. And be certainly going to be expectant of a buy until they see otherwise. So I think Norris make a great decision by only half buying in this moment. Nifty, the only man in her. No Z rotate just yet. Cutler might be the first one over. And Nifty's just waiting to hear a flash. Ooh. Oh, wow. Nasty reposition on the crosshair there. Peeks in, gets dinked, fires off, falls back. Okay. Now he's got support from Cutler. JDM would be the additional rotator towards Z, and Cutler opts to play close smoke. Now they are going to flash through this, and Kirby's going to come face to face with him. They do go by, and Cutler pushes through. That's going to drop the bomb, deny the plant that the terrorists seem to want by running forward, unless they can actually get back onto the site. The opera says, back up, get into cover, because North's play has fallen flat in the sense that they did have to double back and get bomb. But they've done it. Reaggression outwards. Envy know they could be tucked away in all of these corners, and sure enough, Cadian in their spawn. Drone, oh no, doesn't peek one step further. Could have actually found AZ, but he does find a bit of timing to walk up amidst the trains. Loses his teammate, and Drone's still hidden. Hits the headshot, time's there, but lost track of the other terrorists. There it is, North finally breaking through. Three consecutive bomb plants in a row, and it's the fourth that takes them over the line. When launders, when they only have pistols. Overrun the ops. Nifty does get the opening kill, which is huge. And Cutler could have made quite a play there. Don't even know how he got traded out. But the rotations were hampered. Uh, they were slower because they were so dedicated outside. They were really trusting Nifty to do a lot. And although Cutler was first in, he was also first to die. It was kind of a wonky exec. But again, you have to be afraid of pistols. And f it's, it's funny, you could spend so much money and get ops and think that uh, you, you have more safety, but it's terrifying. The thought of getting swarmed by them. Ooh, Cutler jumps back into the ladder room before the T's stop shooting. They just faked the flash by uh, throwing it at the top of the ladder and then dropping. So they've got their pick once more. JDM's going to get aggressive. He's got Kerrigan by him. This is a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder type situation. Gade damaged up significantly and chased by Kerrigan. They wanted that equalizing kill, and they got it. Even though North half bought that last round, they spent most of their money on this one. Katie and AZ have some bank left over. This could be a crazy way back into the game. And we know the slower rounds from North have worked less well. Four to four. They can execute if they want to. And got position at Ivy, not all the way up. Might just try to sh rip straight through. Little fake volley of nades forward, drone. Spots bomb on ladder. They don't actually have Ivy in check at the moment. And they've lost Nifty at the B site where the bomb doubles back to. Valda versus drone could be big on this A site, but all the while, Kadian's put in the hard work. Drone completely blindsided by that close proximity, and JDM now is surrounded. He knows it. Walking forward into the CZ, he's dead. It's North 15. They took their time and made it calculated, but goddamn, Kadian tearing it up on that B site. Yeah, that was really nice by him, and also Valda to come in. That was the insurance policy. It wasn't going to be a regular after plant. You saw him walking outside. You knew he was going to be gifted a kill. And uh, keeping their options open was a key for North there to actually take that, to bring map control to fruition. Or to bring map control, to bring match point to fruition. On 15, looking strong. I, I'm surprised. It seemed like Envy had control of the situation. Drone had the bomb spotted there for a second, but didn't want to risk dying for no reason. And ultimately, Cadian snuck it back and then took the off out. It's a fast exec outside. Yeah, they're just looking to strong arm him into the dirt. Sand in the eyes at the moment. Envy being overwhelmed, outrun. 
Everybody just tried to sprint into the A site as fast as they could. Defense not bolstered fast enough to maintain a man advantage, not enough to trade even. So Nifty comes from Old Bomb, JDM back on Ivy, and we're all waiting for Kerrigan to get into position on T-Con. But the longer we wait, the more we realize they don't have a kit at the moment. And Kerrigan dies, so all that time just lost for free. Nifty in an astronomical clutch will find nothing. It is north to stand tall here at the end of map one. They've decided to go ahead and get a victory on the opening map, the choice of Envy, which makes me fearful for what comes next. Folks, we're gonna be moving on to Mirage for map two. Currently, these teams' records, 0-2 for Envy, 2-0 for North, and that's the justification of their choice. You're not gonna wanna go too far. We'll be back with that one in a bit.